Hello everybody, this is me Quad. Today we're reviewing Combiner Wars Battle Core Optimus Prime. Now, the story behind how I actually got this figure is actually kind of fucking hilarious. Um, I was going to uh, purchase the S&D upgrade kit for this thing, which I, m I may wait until TFCon, see if they have one there, and then purchase that there. Um, but uh, yeah. Uh, so I bought this figure, but then what had happened was that uh, the seller lost the figure in transit, so it refunded me everything. But then literally, like, not even a day after that had happened, um, he showed up at my doorstep. So I essentially got the figure for free. So yeah, that was interesting. And <laughs> yeah, um, so we're going to go over transformations for this dude. Um, extra articulation first, because I think we covered Motor Master back in, like, one whole video. That was, like, fucking ages ago on the channel. I'll link the Motor Master videos somewhere over here if I get to it. Because <laughs> these will be pre-uploaded, so they may be just uploaded real quick. And, yeah, because I got three more videos that are coming out. One of them, you could tell it's an older video because it doesn't have the backdrop here. Uh, or there won't be... The other two videos I'm filming will have the backdrop, but they won't have the Transformers backdrop. It'll just be, like, just black. <laughs> but, yeah. And, yeah. So. You got some arms. You can pose 90 degrees. You can't really move it any further than that. You got your bicep swivel. You got technically a butterfly, but it's an intentional transformation, really. 360, all that good shit. You can get them up all the way that far. All that cool shit. <laughs> uh, I'll show how to transform into combined mode uh, a little later, but uh, yeah. I don't have any other the Combiner Wars figures that weren't like part of the main Combiner teams. So, uh, I actually can't even pit them in combined mode, nor do I have my combined words figures here. So, yeah, uh, funny pickle there. But, uh, yeah. So, oh yeah, he comes with two guns. One looks more like his classic ion blaster, and the other one's this gun thingy. Uh, if you put them close together, they vaguely look like an engine. And then, um... One other neat thing is you can combine these together, and uh, yeah, you got a big gun for combined mode. Cool. Um, okay, so getting... Oh yeah, and then his legs, he can do the... Hold on, let me move that. He can do the full splits. I'm surprised I never actually bootlegged this mold, but suppose it was too shitty for that. Yeah, and then you got a little greater than 90. No ankles though, but that's... Due to combination, but also just that wasn't a common thing of this era. It's like tw 2015 right here, so it's not exactly like I think that was on their mind at that time. But yeah, um, and this was the start of the John Warden era as well. So things look G1, but they're stylized G1. It, you're still in that very uh, class like classics generations aesthetic still um as you can see here but this was a pre-tool for the motor master and th okay i will say the gorilla arms i kind of like those little look like i don't know why it just fits this mold it doesn't work with the regular optimus but i think it works better with the battle core optimus and the uh, motor master and i just think that's just because their head sculpts fit the look but yeah, no wrist swivels because of how it transforms. But yeah, then the head on mine is kind of loose. Um, it's weird because in certain spots it's like real fucking tight. And then in other spots it's like that. <laughs> but yeah. Um, so we're going to get this transformed. We're going to go combine mode first. So you just turn this around. You would unfold these hands, but however, due to me not having the other combiners, uh, the limbs, I am not going to transform that just because I can't really get any use out of that. Okay, so then we're going to 
configure the legs like so. Bring up these pieces. Um, we're going to do it in stock configuration so these legs are going to look fucking weird. There's a tab right there that will tab into that. You got to match it up. And then boop. Open that up, bring that up. I think I have to adjust that like so. And there's the robot mode for combined mode. Um, yeah, of course you could have this closed as well. Here's how the closed look looks. I never really cared for it for motor mass for Minasaur it having it closed like this. Nor did I care for it with Optimus, so I just like keeping it open. Um, but yeah, a lot of details in here, but like it really needed paint, like this chest area. So yeah, I, I was thinking about picking up that hot rod, just just so I could clomp him right there. But yeah, it's not bad. Uh, it looks fucking terrible when you have it all combined up because like out of his fucking waist or lack of a waist. Um, it, it looks pretty fucking horrendous. Um, but yeah, uh, that's that. And we're going to get into combined mode. So we got to fold this back down, close that, untab those, get the legs straightened out. I like to just tab these together. Because it makes our jobs a little bit easier. Fold that. Turn that around. Now what you want to do is turn these back. The w or now actually keep them the way they were. Um, and fold these. You want to kind of fold the waist. Kind of, sort of. Do that. Um, Alright. So then... You bring that in, that's why we folded the waist so you got enough clearance for the fists. Um, untab that, separate that, just line it up, move it. This will just tab together. And then um, plug that in there, plug that in there, then the legs, there's these little tabs that will tab into the sides of the arm, it's a little finicky trying to get it, once you get everything fit you want to move that up because there's weapon storage, these guns have these grooves, they fit into there, don't know why it's specialized like that, I'm assuming it's just to keep them still so they're not like moving around, I, I guess. But yeah, and here is Combined Wars Optimus Prime, severely needing paint. Uh, paint there for the windows, right there for the windows, windows. That slot in between actually should be painted gray. Because that's supposed to be the part that's separated <laughs> from the windows, but it's not. Um, that needs to be painted. Uh, There's a whole lot. Um, it rolls. Um, as rolling things roll. Um, actually rolls really good, but yeah, um, I'll transform her back into robot mode again here, but we'll kind of talk about a little, um, about, um, Combiner Wars, because I actually kind of want to do a video, it'll probably be once I move and have my own room again, because then I'll have all my shit there. And we could actually kind of bust out all the figures out and uh, kind of do... I want to do retrospectives on like the Prime Wars trilogy stuff. And kind of talk about that. I know a lot of the Power of the Prime stuff I had is no longer here. But I have acquired some new Power of the Prime stuff. As well as... Uh, just... There's some stuff I still have. Like I don't have the Dinobots anymore. But I do have the... Uh, yeah, the Terracons. Yeah. So I have Abominus and all of them. Um, I have the Alita one. Um, I do want to pick up that Star Scream, but that's more for a custom job thing. And then, um, yeah, and then I do have both the leaders, the Optimus and the. Uh, I have three leaders: the Optimus, the Primal, 
and then Rodimus. So yeah, here and yeah, um, and yeah. I also want to talk about Titan Returns and just gush how much I love that line. But yeah, and all right, here's Tarn. Hold on, let me ah. There you go. That's a size comparison. That's how much bigger Voyagers used to uh, used to be back in the day. Uh, and I will say he is significantly heavier than he is too. But I will say his conversion is much more of an enjoyable process than his is. But they're about like I would say his is more simplistic than his. But I enjoy messing with the transformation of this figure immensely. But this figure has a weirdness and a fun tactileness to it that I don't exactly get with this. I well, no, I don't know. They're both fun in different ways, I guess is the point across I'm trying to get at the end of the day. I, I still do prefer this figure because god fucking damn it, do I love Tard's robot mode. Just the design in general. Like, it's one of the fucking best things other than Drift to come out of IDW. 1.0 as far as designs go it's just ooh moi chef's kiss but uh yeah IDW Rodimus's design is really cool but like I don't know if I haven't seen a good IDW Rodimus like figure like there's some third party attempts that are get the point across pretty good but like I think I don't know but yeah. Anyways. Um, I do recommend Battlecore Optimus. Um, the a lot of the Combiner Wars stuff I do recommend. Just know that they're kinda of flawed and kind of aged. Um But yeah, um I know the regular Optimus Prime colored one I think is cheaper than he is, because he's a little more sought after just due to uh, people customize this figure a lot. Whether that's into Thunder Clash or Denova Prime. Or I use it for whatever kit bash they're doing. So, yeah. Um, just keeping him how he is for right now. But, yeah. Anyways, that's me, Qua. Uh, and I'm signing out here. Peace out.